happen over the next couple of years when that building over there is redone with new glass, new, new glazing. That work of structural upgrade safety is starting this year. It isn't something that might happen, it's something that will happen. Well, we're in the mill and uh, we're, it's a, right now a process of uh, taking out the old windows so that they can be uh, uh, processed and refurbished and rehabilitated. Well, we uh, sort of worked our way up and then we worked our way back down again. So what we did was we took out all the sash and the, uh, the windows, and removed the rotten frames that were there, and uh, we worked our way all the way to the top. Got the sun in the sky, all the water surround me. Oh, you know, yeah, I win now, sometimes I lose. I've been battered, but I never prove Handling the, the existing uh, uh, windows in this case uh, so that they can be uh, 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 processed, uh, cleaned up. New, uh, new glass placed in, maintaining all the heritage values of the original, and then putting the refurbished pieces back into place. The windows pulled out were very, very thin single pane glass uh, with the same sash, which is the base frame of the windows themselves. But what was put into them, installed, was uh, double laminated glass so that you actually have uh, protection as well as a percentage of even more heat. Access to the areas of where we were working was the, was the challenge. Um, the windows to put them in is easy. All that you have to do is get them there. And uh, that, was the, that was the challenge. We have rehabilitated 650 uh, windows, reconditioned them. We had to manufacture 250 new ones. Uh, we put a, a team of uh, uh, very good uh, uh, and skilled people together, uh, some from the local community, some from Squamish. After that, the plywood uh, that you see on the roof will be completed and uh, the new uh, cladding and the new roof will go on and we'll have a brand new building. There's always some sorrow And it's a double-edged knife But there's always tomorrow The thing that amazed me about working on this project was the fact that I know that I was just one of many hundreds of people that have worked here in all the time that it's been going. Since the first day I got here, I realized that this place must have been a booming, noisy, busy place and that hundreds of people have come in and out of this place for many many days of their lives and uh, knowing that it's sat empty for this long but we're just another one of the working people that have come into this place and made a living out of this building. Well hopefully um, help to uh resurrect it to a uh, beauty of close to what it was in the beginning. Um, somewhere my potential grandchildren will have a place to go to, my niece, my nephew. I'd like to, uh, like to know that the historical values are still intact and uh, the history of the area will be into the future. <laughs>